Is that how they do when they take those pictures? I can't stand that. <laughs> but that's just me. Some people probably can't stand my videos, but I'm just saying, I can't stand when I see grown females. But that's just me. What's up, y'all? Y'all probably can't stand me wearing my brown hat. Probably can't stand me on the, doing videos all the time, but you know, it's all good. We like what we like. We, we don't like what we don't like. Listen, good morning, y'all. Salon D.A. Hammond here, affectionately known as Sue Ham, baby, also known as your thug motivator. Good morning, Patty and Sonia and Shalonda. You know, the mind is a powerful thing. I'm trying to tell you, your mind is very powerful. So this morning, right, um, I am traveling, about to go get me some breakfast, um, and uh, my mind came across two people. And, <clears throat> hey, Chris Lee, hey, Latoya, my mind came across two people this morning. And I promise you, both of them hit me up in the inbox. My mind thought about this female first. And then next thing you know, she was inboxing me. Next thing you know, I thought about this guy. Next thing you know, he was inboxing me. And I just said, man, you know something. Your mind is so powerful. What you think about, you can bring about. And I, which I know this, but sometimes it takes just the little things just to remind us of how powerful our mind is. What's up, Kawan? What's up, Debrika? What's up, Samara? Little things like that, just for me to think of somebody and then for them to contact me, reminds me of how powerful our mind really is. So what I said to myself when that happened, I was like, whoa, look at that. I said, you know what? What if I stop focusing on the negative? completely just really 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 try very hard to stop focusing on the negative completely and really start thinking about matter of fact uh tamara just popped on and she was the person i was talking about um, tamara I was just telling them how the mind is so powerful how i was just thinking about you this morning and then you inbox me and i was thinking about another guy her mac and then he inboxed me and i was just saying how powerful the mind is now just imagine if we did that and said you know what i am going to get my brand new house and then just let it go. Don't think nothing negative about it. Don't think nothing else doubtful about it. Just say, I'm going to get my new house. And then just boom, let it go. Or just start thinking, I'm going to be healthy if you're sick. And let it go. Don't don't second think it. Nothing. Second guess it. Just let it go. Start thinking my marriage is better. Don't think a different way. Just believe it and let it go. Start thinking my finances are better. My credit is better. That car that I want, regardless of what the credit uh, score says or what the credit report says, I'm going to get it and I'm going to get a good interest rate. Just start thinking that and just let it go. Don't second guess it. Just imagine what your mind can bring into fruition. I'm telling you, I've done it with small things and I've done it with big things. I visualize big things and it's happened and I visualize small things. But the thing is, just think it and let it go. And watch your mind bring it into fruition. I'm telling you, do it with small stuff. You don't believe me? Start saying, when you're driving down the road, show you how powerful your mind is. But you also have to be aware, okay? Because if you're not aware, you're going to miss it, okay? So start going down the road because sometimes I'll do this. I used to have a Cadillac Escalade, the ESV, the big boy truck when they first came out. And uh, so sometimes I see myself getting back into that vehicle. And sometimes when I'm going down the road, I'll be like, I'm going to see a brand new Cadillac ESV. And then before long, I see it and materialize it. So just imagine if you did that with your dreams. You know, uh, I am going to be on this particular TV show. And then before long, you're on it. Or I am going to start this business. And before long, you're on it. I am going to help the youth in my community and open up a center. And before long, you're doing it. So the mind is so powerful. Remember, every Everything begins and ends in the mind. Either you can begin your dream, the dream can begin in the mind, or it can end in the mind. Now, when I say end, I mean killing it with doubt and fear and never even getting it out of your mind. But remember, everything that you enjoy today, that bank, that recliner, that remote, that car, that food that you're eating, um, you know, that building that you go into to go that place of employment, whatever you are enjoying today, remember it all started where? right here in your mind it started in your mind first i'll let y'all see my eyebrows i ain't drawing on too good today but it starts in your mind first so you have to understand how powerful your mind is okay if we want world peace if another if enough of us get on one accord world peace will occur if we want to end uh, poverty, if enough of us get on one accord, poverty will end. That's just how powerful the mind is. So if each of us start to use our mind the right way in the little environment that we're in, just imagine the impact it will have worldwide. All you have to do is start where you are. Are. 
Start where you are, use your mind the right way, make a difference, and bring those things into fruition that you really, really want. Instead of bringing those things into fruition that you don't want. How am I bringing things to life, Sue, that I don't want? Well, you know, you may be thinking, um, man, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough money to pay this bill. And then guess what? Something breaks down on the car and now you don't have enough money to pay this bill because you put that into the atmosphere. You brought that into existence. Why not think and say, I am going to have enough money to pay this bill. Matter of fact, I'm going to have more than enough money to pay this bill and I'll be able to go to the Huddle House and get me two eggs and a hash brown because I'm going to have an abundance. I'm going to have leftover. I'm, it's going to spill over. My blessings are going to spill over. I'm not going to have enough room. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to invite Sue Ham to to come to the huddle house with me and eat breakfast because I'm going to need to share my blessings. See, what if we started thinking just the opposite instead of the negative? Because see, when we think on the negative, we get the negative. But if, what if we started thinking on the positive? What if those positives started overflowing in our lives? How do I know that this will happen? Because it's happening for me. You see, I'm starting to use my mind the right way and I encourage you to do the same. Now, it can be challenging because, get this, when you've been doing something wrong for a long time, it's hard breaking a bad habit habit. But the way to break a bad habit is just to initiate a new habit and be consistent with that new habit until you kick that bad habit. Come on, somebody. Come on now. I'm just saying. If I'm going too deep on you, let me know. I'll pull you up out the water. I'll take you in shallow water first. But I feel like if you've been following me for years, then you already been in the shallow water. It's time to go deep now. It's time to go deep. It's time to submerge your head into the knowledge so that you can get out of that valley that you are in. It's time to go deep, baby, so that you can go higher. It's time to go deep so that you can go higher. Come on, somebody. Your mind is powerful. We will invest in any and everything else, but we will not invest in ourselves. We will not invest in knowledge, in growth, in vision, in our dreams. I don't get that. Now, I'm not pointing a finger because believe me, I was there. I would invest in everything else besides myself. But once I understood that the biggest and best investment on this earth was in me, I became very vocal about trying to get other people to see that and to understand that, that your biggest, best investment is in you, my dear. It is in you because you have gifts buried in you that are waiting to come out. And if you will go inside and invest in those gifts and 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 make those gifts better and expose them to the world you are going to have the life that God ordained for you but if you keep running away from that dream if you keep running away from your gifting from your talent then you my friend you are going to continue to have a life where you feel like you know what it's got to be more than this it's got to be something better than this how come they get it how come them over there get it but I can't get it it's because you won't take the time to invest in yourself you won't take the time to use your mind you won't take the time to step out on faith and use the gifts that God gave you that's why how do I know this? Because I'm speaking from experience. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just sharing my journey. And maybe you can take the good and the bad and the ugly, eat the meat and spit out the bones, and maybe to help you along in your process. I'm not trying to be the one to tell you what to do. I just want to show you how when I am obedient and when I do the things that God tells me to do, how he blesses me. Hmm? Come on, somebody. And it's up to you to do what you want to do. But I know for me, I got tired of living a life of mediocrity. And like this poverty thing, we, 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 got, to, we got to ask God for riches. We got to ask God for wealth. And a lot of times, he, it doesn't mean that he's going to dump a bunch of money into your lap. It doesn't mean that you are going to win the lottery. Sometimes the wealth comes with the ideas that he gives you. And all you got to do is step out and implement the ideas that he gives you. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Steve Jobs. Think about it. Oprah. Think about it. They didn't get a bunch of money dumped into their laps. They gave, God gave them ideas. That's where the wealth came in the ideas. And then they stepped out on faith. They may have been afraid, but they stepped out on faith. And that's how the wealth came. Come on, somebody. Implement your wealth ideas. You know, you have ideas for a reason. 
You have those dreams for a reason. That's where your true wealth lies. Now, what are you going to do about it? Stop sitting back and waiting for somebody to just jump, dump a pile of money into your lap or for these checks to come into the mail. Yes, that can happen. Yes, it does happen. But I tend to find out that those things happen when you are busting a move, when you are getting out and making and taking the first step, when you are being consistent, when you are always out there grinding, then those things start to happen because people will start to want to invest in you because they see that you are serious and when God sees that you are faithful with the little stuff then he will start to dump a bunch of big stuff on you and it is starting to get so heavy to the point where you can't even handle all your blessings to the point where you got to start shoving blessings to the left and to the right that's what it means when your cup runneth over come on somebody come on somebody but you waiting on somebody to bring it to you baby when it's already in you it's already in you it's already in you Come on now. I'm trying to tell you. But see, a lot of y'all think this is crazy talk. See, the thing is, I didn't have nobody to talk to me like this when I was growing up. I didn't have nobody to explain how powerful the mind is. I didn't have nobody to explain that what I think about, I bring about. That whatever I feel passionately about, that's what I bring into existence. I didn't have nobody to tell me that. And I, and, but so I spend my life right now on these videos trying to get y'all to understand that yes, it's magical. Some of you say this ain't no hocus pocus. It's magical to me the way God works. It's really magical. It's really, really magical. It ain't hard once you get on one accord. Once you get in alignment with the plan. Once you become aware. Once you become alert. Once you feed your mind. Once you train your mind. It ain't hard. These things start to manifest for you. It ain't hard. Let me tell you something. If you are spinning your wheel putting in 40 50 60 70 80 hours a week and nothing is materializing for you nothing is manifesting it's because the inside is not right it's because the mind is not right how do I know this because I did that and now that I am not working as hard uh, physically but instead I'm working harder spiritually and mentally the things are manifesting faster so you have to get your mind in order you have to stop the battlefield you have to stop the war that is going on in your mind one day you're telling yourself, yes, I can do it. I will do it. And the next day you're saying, no, I can't. You see, you can't be double minded. You have to be, you have to know that what you want wants you. And because it wants you, it's waiting for you to take that step and come and get it. It's like, come and get me, Sue. Come and get me, Latoya. Come and get me, Linda. Come and get me, Samara. Come and get me, Carolyn. Come and get me, BB Bling. Come and get me, Clyde. Come and get me, May Lee. Come and get me. It's waiting for you. It's waiting for you. What are you waiting on? Hmm? What are you waiting on? Go and get what's yours. It's your destiny. You see, it was preordained before you were even born. So therefore, all you got to do is go and get it. Woo! Come on, somebody. You don't understand this, guys. This thing is powerful. The plan was already laid out for you. So all you got to do is wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Go get your dreams today. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's live life. Come on now, I just remix Marvin Gaye's sexual healing. Yes, I did. <laughs> it's already out there waiting on you. Everything that you want, it's waiting on you. Why do you think you have those desires? Why, why? God didn't give you those desires because the things that you want are far-fetched? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He gave them to you because they are well within your reach. Ooh. See, he didn't give me the desire to build an airplane. See, for me right now, that's far-fetched. So I don't have a desire to do that. He gave me the desire to act, to write, to speak, to clown around, to inspire people to live, love, learn, and laugh, to uh, not quit but follow their dreams to success because that is within my reach. I have the gifting to do that. He didn't give me the gift to want to be a chef because I don't like being in nobody's kitchen. He didn't give me the gift to be able to take care of chilling in a daycare center because I can't take care of chilling eight, ten hours a day. I can't do it. I won't do it. Now, I'll come speak to you and empower you, but I can't take care of you eight, ten hours a day. He didn't give me the gift to take a motor out of a car because that's not... So because I don't have those desires, that's not where my gifting lies. It's out of my reach. Yeah, can I probably train myself to do it? Yes, but it's going to be challenging because that's not where my desires lie. That's not where I want to do. So, but the things that I really, 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 really want to do, 
it comes easily because he's it's within my reach so what am i saying that at five years old when i had a desire to be in movies it was within my reach even though i live in a place where you would probably think nobody would be in movies but it's happened so as i was growing up and i wanted to have my own tv show it was within my reach because that's the desire he gave me. So it happened once I took a step. You understand what I'm telling tell you? Once I got out there and made it happen. So the desire to travel as I was growing up, living in the woods, seeing all this, these trees and stuff. I always imagined myself going to big cities and staying in big, nice places. Those desires, they were within my reach. So guess what? It happened. I've been in 17,000 square foot mansions where people were just taking care of my every need. I've been across the world. I've traveled. I've lived in Japan. I've been to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I've been to the West Coast several times because that was within my reach because he put those desires in me. So do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Whatever Whatever that desire is that is in you, it is within your reach because God gave you the desire, but you got to step out and make it happen, baby. You got to do something with it. If you ain't going to do nothing with it, you know what? You're just going to go to the grave with all those great gifts inside of you that, and you never gave us a chance to experience them. I'm sorry, but I'm just getting started. I'm just getting, the world is going to know more about Suham baby. I'm just getting started. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Listen, once I remembered who I was and whose I was, I became a threat. I became a threat. Once I learned how to use my mind the right way, I became a threat. Woo! Once I understood that what I wanted wants me just as bad as I want it, I became a threat. Once mm, y'all don't y'all ain't feeling me right now. I need a remix going on. Y'all ain't feeling me right now. See, some of y'all don't forgot who you are. Some of y'all don't forgot what kind of gifts you got. Some of you don't forgot how talented you are. You need to stop letting fear paralyze you and keep you from exposing your gifts to the world. You here for a reason, baby. Come on now and stop comparing your gifts. I'm not the next David E. Talbot. I'm not the next Tyler Perry. And I grew up saying I'm going to be the next Tyler Perry. No, no, uh-uh, no. I am the next Suham baby. That's who I am. I don't want to be compared to nobody. I am who I am. It ain't about no competition. I love those guys greatly. And yes, I mirror a lot of the stuff that they do. But listen, I don't want to be the next Tyler. I don't want to be the next David. I don't want to be the next Monique. I don't want to be the next Whoopi Goldberg, Cicely Tyson. I want to be the first Suham baby. That's who I want to be. Come on now. I'm just saying. <sighs> Everything that you want is within your reach. If you have a desire for it, it's within your reach. You wouldn't have that desire if you couldn't achieve it. I'm trying to tell you. So that brand new house that you are desiring that you want it is within your reach. You wouldn't have that desire if it wasn't within your reach. That new job that you want, it is within your reach. You wouldn't have that desire if it wasn't within your reach. That 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 new car, that new business, that new marriage, uh, maybe not new or so, no new marriage because I'm divorced and I'm going to get married again. It's within my reach. I'm going to get married again. It's within my reach. Your children having a better relationship with them. It's within your reach. But you see. You, it's just like, you know, something is within my reach. You know, it could be over there within my reach. But if I don't reach out and go and get it, I'll never have it. Did you get that? Did you catch that? It could be within your reach. But if you don't make an attempt to go out and get it, to reach for it, then you will never have it. All you will see is just that possibility. And let me tell you something. That, that is, that is, that's murderous. To, to see the possibility but never attempt to have it. That's like killing yourself slowly, baby. Why would you do that to yourself? Go out there. Reach for it. Go out there. Grasp it. Yeah, you may, may fall short a couple of times. You may hit the ground. Get back up. Jump again. And reach again. You're going to get further. You're going to get further. I promise you. Every round goes higher. Now, I don't know who this was for. I really didn't come on here to say this. I really didn't. But the, uh, I done got long-winded on it. But this was for somebody. Uh, if it resonates with you, share this video because people need to understand how to use their mind the right way. Instead of focusing on negative so much, what if you focus on the positive? What if you said, you know, instead of saying, I can't afford this, what if you say, how can I afford this? Or I'm going to afford this. Or the money is going to materialize and believe that and never second guess it. Do not second guess it and wait for it to happen. Watch what happens. Things are going to fall into place. Things are going to fall into place. Everything that you desire is within your reach, but you need to reach for it. Hmm? That's what I'm going to leave you on. My name is Salon Dia Hammond, a.k.a. Sue Ham Baby, also known as your thug motivator. And um, 
I want you to know that I want you to live, love, learn, and laugh, baby. Don't quit. Follow your dreams to success. And I want you guys to come out and check out my stage play, SueHamStagePlays.com. Go to that website. There's a lot of great things happening there. I love you guys. Everything that you want is within your reach, but you got to reach for it. You meditate on that. Peace out.